What's up, family? This is Educated Gamer. Welcome to Meet the Gamers. In this Instagram TV series, we meet the real gamers behind your favorite stream. These gamer girls and gamer guys are what I like to call hardcore soldiers who take to Twitch, Facebook Gaming, and YouTube, and many other platforms to entertain us, share their level of gameplay, and do unimaginable feats in the virtual world. These brave new electronic pioneers are making their mark on the gaming community, and we are interested in knowing what happens offline. Today's featured gamer is Brandon at Brandon2Flashy. Let's stream out of control and find out what's going on with Brandon. So, have you ever lost a video game and used a really lame ass excuse as to why you lost the video game? I'm sure you have, and today, me and my featured gamer are going to reveal some lame ass excuses that you may have probably used or you've heard your fellow gamers use. That's right, we are putting gamers on blast today. So we want you to know that we know what you know that you don't think we know, and that is that what you just used was a sort of like a lame ass excuse. And so we're gonna put it out there. Out of High Point, North Carolina, we have your boy at Brandon Too Flashy with us today. And y'all, Brandon really is flashy, bro. As a matter of fact, he's got a whole clothing line behind it. Check his Instagram out. You'll find a dude who's easy on the eyes, a great casual dresser, a dude flying the friendly skies and letting the world know that he has arrived and he is definitely here to stay. This gaming and streetwear YouTuber is up and coming and he's here with us today. What's up, Brandon? How are you today, man? Good. Yeah, how you doing, man? Man, I am good, man. I'm glad that you uh, decided to join me today. Uh, Brandon, they say don't let light-skinned dudes next to your better half because they'll always end up stealing them. How true is that, bro? Like, like, tell me, whoa, what's up with that? Like, why, why are y'all light-skinned brothers got to be taking everybody from us? You know, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I think it just come with it. You know what I mean? It just it just comes with the sauce, man. Man, I'm telling you, man. I've, I've, I've done try to bleach my skin, do everything I can, try to get light-skinned because that seems to be the way to go, but hasn't worked so far. Brandon, where, where did you grow up at, bro? Where'd you grow up at? Uh, I'm from a small town called High Point, North Carolina. Um, a lot of people don't know where that's at. Uh, I, when people ask me, I really just tell them it's like an hour and a half away from Charlotte. If you know where Charlotte is, you probably it's like an hour down south from there. Man. Sweet. Oh, man. Nice. Nice. And are you a console or a PC gamer? A console, man. I can't rock with the PC. I can't do it. Bro, what's, what's, what you got against PC? Uh, one of my homies used to stay in my neighborhood. He used to be the only one out of all of us that played on PC. And he's... Mm -hmm. Like he used to always talk about it. He used to always try to get us to do it. And I was like, nah, this is that's what was back when like PS3 was out. So I was like, nah, I'm a PS3 type of guy. I'm gonna stay with the PS3. And I just always kind of had like, you know what I'm saying? I just kind of always was PlayStation. Yeah, I, I rock with both PC and console, bro. I, I love PC. There's some games that like uh, like Battlefield and some others that I just love to play on PC. Mm -hmm. And then the other games, like right now, I, I rock the division two pretty hard. Uh I do that uh through PlayStation. And uh, I love that game, man. I love it. What, what's your core game that you're rocking right really now? Warzone. Uh, I do want to go ahead and get Cold War. I haven't gotten Cold War yet, but that's probably like my next. Got my next you. So today we're going to look at some of these uh, excuses uh, yeah. that people yeah. uh, tend yeah. to use uh, when they're gaming. You know, they, they say, oh, you, you, you hear your boys say different things. You'd be on plan with them. They'd be like, oh, bro, if it hadn't been for this or if it hadn't been for that, you know, I could have won the game. Uh -huh. Talking like big mad shit before they start. But then after it gets started, then it's, it's always something, right? All right, here's the first one. Lame excuse number one. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. My little brother was playing. Man, <laughs> I definitely have heard that one, bro. I definitely have heard that Look at one. That. Nah, that's that's never true. Cause like like that was that's more of one where you facing somebody like one on one and then you beat them and then it's always like, nah, I wasn't playing. But it's like, oh, but you was playing when when the score was even. You was playing, but when I started winning, that's when your little brother like, nah. Bro. Right. <laughs> because that that excuse is normally but not exclusively used in like one-on-one -on -one matches where you get completely thrashed by your opponent and the, the excuses don't be followed by okay okay now you beat my little brother you know right now let me hop on you now let me hop on and let me do my thing now this time so yeah, my game system was lagging okay now i can't i gotta say i gotta say 
I am. I'm. I'm. Uh, what's that? What's the word? I'm responsible for this one. I didn't say that excuse a couple times now. <laughs> well, I didn't say I was lagging, but I really probably wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. you like you like my my internet was just like not all that it should have been that day, man. I apologize. Like, I, man, you know. It might have messed my game up a little bit, you know. I'm, if if it was of the slightest bit of lag, I'm I'm gonna use that. As- I'm gonna tell you what I did before. I've like unplugged my internet when I <laughs> and claim I got kicked out, bro. Like that's what I did. That's how bad I am. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, I said it. I said it. I said it. Yeah, I said it. I I went and unplugged the internet. Okay, <laughs> and claimed. That I got kicked out of the internet and my internet crashed. Okay, wow. so now you know. I mean, that's <laughs> here. Your name excuse number three: the game is cheating. How many times you heard that one? Uh, I don't. I mean, it's always something like, especially with two K. I feel like two K is the number one excuse for this one. People love to say two K is cheating. I don't really know how. I don't really know how the game is cheating, man. But some people done definitely did got the best of me. I can't cap. I can't come in here and cap. Some people done definitely put it on me, man. Tell me this. How is the game going to cheat, bro? That's what I want to figure out. How is the game cheat? Okay, like it's a game. It's a computer. They don't know you like personally. It's got, it's got no motives, bro. It's, 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 it's not even thinking about you. It, it don't care that you are winning and not winning. It's just throwing at you with, you know, different levels of challenge. That's it. So how is it cheating? Right, like they don't know you personally. Like they can't have like favorites or nothing. Like it's just 50-50. Whoever's the better person, and that it is what exactly. it is. But you get you hear this all the time, and dudes be like, "Man, man, you know, they be mad. They be yelling on it. Man, the game is cheating. They cheating, man. They cheating." People don't ever want to lose, man. Sometimes, sometimes you got to take the L. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes everybody take an L here and there, man. Now, have you ever stopped playing a video game because it was too scary? Too scary? I can't say. I can't say it was too scary. No, I don't think I ever. No, have you ever played Dead Space? No, nah, I ain't played that one before. No, nah, played- yeah, Dead Space scared the shit out of me when I first started playing it. Um, there was. This- I can't think of a game right now. Wait, the monsters and shit all jump out at you, bro? Like, I was like, oh, no. It's like you're out in space, and people have been infected and all this type of shit, and all of a sudden, you are, you are encountering all these ghouls and monsters and stuff, and I'm not I'm not normally a scary dude, bro, but but I, I wouldn't play Dead Space in the dark. Let's put it that way. Uh, nah, yeah, like that jump scare stuff, that's not for me, man. That's not have you just have yeah, I wouldn't play in the dark, bro. Like, they did a really nice job making shit scare you really good. They, they did a really nice job on that. Like they yeah. can have a nice haunted house during Halloween, right? What's more important, action or story? Now, for me, like I, I guess I would say that depends more on the game. I know that's kind of like a broad answer, but like, let's say like for Call of Duty purposes, like if I were to play Call of Duty, I would definitely say the story is more important for me. You ever had to question why a video game made you horny? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, man. I don't know why I would say that, but it, it definitely is a couple characters on there that, that do look bad. I can't even. Right, right, right. You've been looking at this game character like, girl, damn, like you got a big old booty. Like, why, why am I getting all horny right now? Like, what's the problem? If you can marry any game character. Who would it be? Oh my god, I have the answer, but I just can't remember the girl's name. Do you remember? Do you remember the girl from uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the World? I don't. Here's lame excuse number four. I was distracted. Sometimes you know what I'm saying. Sometimes people would say, like, I heard like they was trying to eat while they play, or they. A mom was calling him while they was playing, bro. Like, I don't want to hear either. That's not an excuse I want to hear. If you got both your hands on the controller and you got the mic on, that means you're playing. I don't, that does not mean you just try. If you chose to eat while you play or you chose to be on the phone with your girl while you play, that ain't got nothing to do with me. Lame excuse number five. Man, I'm just not used to these controls. Ah, you know, you know, that, that excuse, I, I, I have a little bit more sympathy for it because, you know what I'm saying? I'm a type of guy like, I used to run Fortnite heavy. I used to run like I, run, I still run Call of Duty to this day. Like, so I go through and I kind of change the sticks around, like the uh, like the controller layouts and stuff. And sometimes, you know, what I'm saying it's a certain layout that I just really get annihilated, like no kills. Like I just gotta learn how to use it. So if it really is your first time, you know, what I'm saying I might get you some slack. But if you one of those that that's that's the excuse I've been here. Like I ain't, I ain't used to it. Or like when I used to play my friends and they used to have Xboxes. I used to like play if they would ever beat me, I would use that excuse too. I'd be like, I don't play Xbox. I don't know how to, even though it's like the exact. All right, right let me excuse number six. My <laughs> team sucks. Hey man, you know, sometimes if you really, if you really like that in a video game, you know what I'm saying? You gotta go LeBron mode sometimes. Sometimes you gotta put the team on your back. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it goes, man. Have you ever put your team out there like, yeah, it's on them? You know, I'm the better player, but oh, there's plenty. 
You see, they don't know what they're doing, so it, it must be them. Plenty of times. All my homies that I'm a send to y'all, y'all know. Y'all know I'm being for real. It's plenty of times. I don't have shout out any shout out right now at least two other players that you know are not as good as you. Man, my boy Devin, my, my boy Devin, you already know you're not beating me. You're not beating me in no games, bro. You already know that's the truth. And Chris, Chris and Nathaniel, bro. Chris and Nathaniel, when y'all see this, bro, y'all also know y'all can't beat me in any game. They they're gonna have to come on and like dispute this whole thing. We have to get y'all all group together and have them come on. And, they, can, they, they can really tell me how Brandon might be too flashy over here, but when it come to these games, <laughs> you know. Man, Man, he ain't he ain't doing it. Really, really. They might try to cap, man. They might try to lie to you, man. But if we meet, <laughs> man, they know what's up. Tell me this: How did Flashy come about? I see that you got your uh, your brand on right there. My first YouTube, I had like my old YouTube. My name was King Brandon 05. I didn't have anything to do with Flashy. That was nothing to do with me. But one one day, this girl that went to my school, I ain't gonna say her name because I don't really like her like that. I don't really like her like that no more. But Dang. <laughs> yeah, we that was in the. But she gave me my name forever, so I I, I guess I rock with her for that. Like I was like snapping her. We was on Snapchat and I was showing her like my outfit because we was about to link or whatever. And I was showing her like my fit or whatever I had on. And she was like, You so flashy, like, but she said it like in like a joking way. She was like, You so flashy, like a bunch of wives at the end, like, you know what I'm saying? Like she was trying to flirt with me. Right. <laughs> when she said that, I was like, Brandon's so flashy. But I didn't really like how the so flashy part. So I put Brandon too flashy. I kind of took the so out. I took I put like two in there. And I kind of like how that looked in a sense. I said, you know what? So I'm changing my Instagram name, my YouTube name. I changed my PlayStation Network name, bro. I changed uh, that's like the next day. I changed all of that stuff. She put so me, everything became branded too flashy. Yeah, she ever since she said that, it just it just stuck in my head. I don't know. I like I like the way she said that. I don't know. I just it just stuck in my head. Who did, who did the clothing clothing brand come about? Uh, now this I've always been into clothes. You know what I'm saying? Just like clothes have really been like you know dressing, like people outfits and stuff. And I had gotten this new job, and one of like the main reasons I had got a job because I was like, I'm gonna take this serious. I'm gonna start making these hoodies. So the first paycheck I got, I didn't even look. I, I didn't even spend it on anything else. I just straight went straight online and I went straight for the hoodies. Uh, I made ten in black and I made ten red ones, and they all sold out like yeah. in a week. So I was. So like, did you did you did you make your money back, or did did you find that you were shorted? I mean, how did they work out? When I when I first when I first made the hoodies, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't really thinking, you know, I, I gotta make the hoodies for a certain amount of money and then sell them. Right. You know, I was I wasn't really thinking about that. So when I was selling them back, I was like, dang, you know, I ain't making as much money as I was thinking. But you know what I'm saying? It felt kind of cool, you know, to see like people around the city, you know, people around my you know old neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, have the hoodies on. You know, right. like, a couple girls in them not saying, you know what I'm saying? It just you know what I'm saying, it just looked good for me. So I, I kinda take it with it, you know, first kind of first time going around. Nice. So you sold hoodies. What else have you sold with the flash name on it? I just released some t-shirts too. I'm funny because I released those in like end of August because it was getting hot outside. I had released these earlier in the year. Like this was earlier in the year. It was kind of cold. So I put the t-shirts out and then I kind of took a break because all my stuff kind of kept selling out, which yeah. is a good thing, which is a good thing. But I was kind of like, dang, like I ain't never got no inventory to like post. Right. Somebody maybe from outside of the city wanted one. I couldn't give them one because you know what I'm saying. So good, right. So you in college now? Yes, I, I'm in my sophomore year of college. Uh, right now, I do communication. Right, lame excuse number seven. Some people say it's stage fright, basically performance anxiety. You know the fear of phobia that makes you perform terrible. Others are watching. <laughs> yeah, yes, like when battle royale, all Fortnite, and it's down to you and that last team, and your whole team is spectating you, and you just. And you know they in your ear like they telling you what to do like they not the ones that just die like right like, the one that's talking like y'all the ones that's dead y'all should be listening to me but like they're all in your ear trying to tell you what to do and we have to, we have to acknowledge that this is somewhat a real issue for some people yeah I mean, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of people use it as excuse you know I can't play well while you watching you know why you got to be staring at the screen and all this you know some people you know some people that's you know that's real like if not yeah. medically like uh, diagnosed. Uh, yeah. I, Really know you, bro? Nah, don't put that on me, bro. Man, my my equipment breaking now. Like I'm having controller issues. Yeah, man. So, you know, sometimes you know, sometimes the buttons, you know, sometimes the buttons are jammed. You know, you might spill a little something in the keyboard. It might make it a little sticky. You know, I mean, I try I try to stay away from this one. You know, what I'm saying I didn't definitely use the L1 excuse though. My L1 don't work. Or my L1 is real though. Cause you know, you've had some like I've had some times where you go to hit a button and all of a sudden something really is messed up. It's like yo, it's like what's the yeah, I feel it. Like, like like you go, you you supposed to be running for something, all of a sudden the, the, the character won't move or it won't 
if you're sprinting and then you just stop sprinting, it's like people don't want to admit that. I don't want to admit they need some more practice, but this might not be the game for them. You know what I'm saying? Don't admit it, bro. They nobody want to admit that. No, nobody want to. What's that. your favorite game series of all time? Now the whole Call of Duty series from like Call of Duty, like the first Modern Warfare, like Black Ops One, Black Ops Two, Black Ops Three. That's probably the all-time goat series. Like that was like literally like all my childhood growing up, like playing zombies, playing like Kinder Dare Toten Ascension, like all that. But right. if you're real. The best game ever, like series wise, mm -hmm. 2008, bro. I was probably like, what, eight? I don't even know how old I was. I can't even think of the math right now. But all them like WWE SmackDown games, right? Like, Blade, uh, Randy Orton, uh, the Undertaker, Rey Mysterio, bro. That that was like, I had to get that to respect. Though. I had to get that to respect because that game would literally keep me up like till 1:30 in the, like at night. I was young, <laughs> young as hell. Would you rather have the ability? to see 10 minutes into the future or 150 years into the future? Which one? 10 minutes into the future or 150 years into the future? Yep. 10 minutes or 150 years into the future? Um, hmm, I feel like I feel like maybe I go maybe I go 150 years. Maybe I go 150 years just so I would know. I mean, I probably wouldn't be I probably wouldn't be a part of that future, but you know what I'm saying? I would definitely see what's, what's coming, and I could, I could maybe, you know, what I'm saying, I could hop on the wave before everybody else does. You know? Right, right. Would you rather have telekinesis, which is the ability to move things with your mind, or telepathy, or telepathy, the ability to read minds? Um, I think I definitely have to move, move in my mind, because I feel like, I feel like sometimes, like I could just, if you was really just getting on my nerves, and I just look at you, you just fly away, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, move away. But what if you slam somebody too hard, something to kill them? Okay, let's not go down that road. All right. <laughs> Would you rather team up, team up with Wonder Woman or Captain Marvel? Which one? Mm. Now, Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel definitely don't get the respect. Don't get the respect they deserve. You know? but Wonder Woman, she is definitely the goat too, though. So, right. So, which one? She and she tight bad. So, I feel like me and Wonder Woman would be in a tight. I feel like we'd be that connection. Like we, like you know, what I'm saying we could be like me, my girl. Like, what was she was like? You know what? You know, it's not my type. I mean, you can hang. I would be, but you know. You know, we can be friends. You know, so we can be friends. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you know, but don't be touching on my legs and looking at me and stuff. Like you know, like mm -hmm. you can hang around, but like I'm not like with it. Yeah, we can keep it business. You know what I'm saying? We can do it. <laughs> yeah. Would you rather be forced to sing along or dance to every single song you hear? Mm, now, nah, mm. I have to say dance because you feel me. And I, 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 I might be light skinned, but you feel me. I ain't get the singing. I ain't get the singing with it. You know what I'm saying? I, Okay, okay, but you can dance though. Who, who you dance like? Who you dance like? Uh, you feel me? Uh, hmm. Who I dance like? Like, do you like when you go to a party? Do you be holding the walls, or do you, you like the life of the party? Shorties, I be with the shorties. You know what I'm saying? The whole time. <laughs> okay, I like, I'll, I'll do my little two step. You know what I'm saying? I just rock with the girl. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I really call it a dance, but I just call it a little sway. You know what I'm saying? I just, okay, dance ain't nothing really but sex on the floor now. That's all right. Yeah. I yeah. You know how to have sex, then you know how to dance. You know what I'm saying? Now, would you rather find true love today or win the lottery next year? Which one? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm winning the lottery, bro. I'm winning the lottery. You know, these females, you know, these females, they be for the streets, bro. Some of, some of, I ain't going to say all of them, but some of them for the streets, bro. If I, could, if I could win the lottery next year, that would be super duper lit, bro. That would be lit. That would be lit. <laughs> You're not trying to, you're not trying to, uh, find love, you'd rather find the cash. You know what I'm saying? Right now, you know what I mean? I just, I need that money right now. You know what I'm saying? Right from what I've been, what I'm saying, these females, you know what I'm saying? Everybody kind of wish you watch, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. Yeah. Money, by the way. So, would you rather be, and this is a good question for you because, you know, you're dressy. So, would you rather be chronically underdressed or overdressed? Over. Over, for sure. I definitely would rather be over because I have been in situations where I've been over, like, like I go out with some people, like I, I probably really try to throw a fit on, and they just come in like some sweats and a t-shirt. Right. Dang, like I know what I'm saying. But if I go out and you know what I'm saying, say we with some, say I see a group of girls, you know, I would come with my boys, and they all lie, but I, you know what I'm saying, I'm looking, you know. All right, Brandon, like you just you put me onto something, bro. What's up? What's up? What's your favorite pickup line when you see a girl, you know, you out, you hanging out. What's your favorite go-to line, bro? I try, to get, I try to make sure my thing. And I try to get. The, I like try to go up put the phone out out. So they just put it in there. Like I don't know. Usually I just like kind of say it like that, and I show them the phone out, and they just they already know what's up. I be like, yeah, you, you know. Like, 
You talked it for a while, I put a phone out, and you already know, you took the number. Right. Now, would you have, would you rather have a universal respect or unlimited power? Mm, universal respect, unlimited power. Now, that's a good question because, you know what I'm saying, respect, you know what I'm saying, that's a lot, you know, you know, that's, that goes a long way. Yeah. Well, some people, they take their power and they use it the wrong way. So, I don't know if I would want to be like, I don't know if I want to have unlimited power, you know what I'm saying? Maybe balance it up. I think I might as well take the respect, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of like a Nipsey kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? Nip Nipsey wasn't the most powerful and the most rich person, but everybody really had respect for him, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah, had a really good head on his shoulders, man. Rest in power, Nipsey. Rest in power, man. Rest in power. Now, would you rather swim in a pool full of Nutella or a pool full of maple syrup? Mm. Uh... You know, Nutella, that's like that peanut butter stuff. Yeah, Nutella, that's like that peanut butter chocolatey thing, right? Or a pool full of maple syrup. Mm, I think I'm going to have to go with the syrup. I think I'll go with the syrup. I, I mean, like, I like I get pancakes, waffles. I, I'm drenching that syrup. So. <laughs> All right, a couple more. Would you rather have Beyonce's talent or Jay-Z's business acumen? Oh, Jay-Z's Jay business, man. If I, if I could... If I could like if I knew the way that he thinks and just like the whole thing about like Rock Nation and just everything that he does, bro, is crazy to me. Like, like he's yeah. a big inspiration to me for that. So. Yeah, the guy is amazing, bro. Amazing, amazing. Bro. Would you rather buy ten things you don't need every time you go shopping, or always forget the one thing that you do need when you go to the store? <laughs> um, hmm. Ten things you don't need every time you go shopping, or always forget the one thing you need when you go. I think I might say, uh, I think I might say I go, I'd rather go just a little 10 extra. You know, if I get that one thing that's really important, I'll be mad. Like, man, I just got dressed came all the way to the store. Yeah, you until I can order, bro. Like, you're going to be like, you're going to be on that show, orders, bro, with all this stuff I in your have a whole room full of this random, random stuff from the store. Dude. We're going to fast forward like 40 years and you're going to be like crawling through like little spaces in your house and like, they'll be like, bring it later. You'll be like, well, every time I go to the store, Buying extra shit, and you know, I'm gonna need that one day. They'd be like, Well, just throw it away. No, 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 I can't throw it away. I might need it. My day, I might just need it. You never know. You never know. You're you're watching that show, The Hoarders? Yeah, I've seen that. Like, that junk is kind of nasty. It's like, I don't know how you can even have that much stuff. Like, it's like they yeah. just start pop of stuff. I don't know. They, they toilet me full of shit, and they, you know, full of stuff, like drawers full of stuff. Kitchen. <laughs> In my 600 pound life, them two shows, man, they just can you like can me eat away from that? I don't know. I, that jump, I just wake up. You know, life, that that show right there, just yeah. like and you notice that most of the people that are on my 600 pound life, they have like really skinny boyfriends or girlfriends. Like I said that I never understood how they always be with like a really fit person, and then they or they can't be like fit, and then they just be like six over here, just 600. Like, like they press be hanging on the floor, and they you know. Man, I don't know, man. Like they have like two separate stomachs. I don't. Ain't a girl like that, bro. What I did? <laughs> that ain't for me, bro. Nah, Thirty pancakes and bring them in here to me real quick, would you please? I'm gonna say nah. I'm, you got, uh, I can see you right now, Brandon. It's, it's, I can imagine my head like, all right, baby. I'm gonna make these pancakes real quick. I'll come in there and feed them to you. I'll pour the syrup on you and come in and lick it off you, baby. <laughs> Nah, it ain't for me, but I ain't going with that one. I can't have it. Nah. You got older brothers and sisters? No, nah, I don't got no older siblings. Nah. So are you the oldest? Nah, I got a sister. Oh, no, no, I am the oldest, though. Yeah, I am the oldest. Though. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. So what do you think your sister thinks of you and your gang? Uh, you know what I'm saying? She know, she know I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? She know how I get. You know, she probably done heard me a lot, you know, yelling. Because I'm mm -hmm. right down the hall, so she probably done hear it all the time. Every time I go in the gang, she hear me yell or scream out like, <laughs> I might like just scream out something. So she probably know I take it for it. For, you know. She like, man, Brandon in there screaming again, bro. Like, what, what is he doing? Playing games since we was young and like we was young. So I've been screaming since forever. So you know what I'm saying? She just you gotta get used to that one. You know what I'm saying? Brandon, what was the name of the last girl you snuck in your house, bro? Oof, her name, name Anna. I will never forget that story. <laughs> How many days ago was this? That was a crazy experience. That was probably. That was probably a month and a half ago. I, I can't really have people in the crib like that because, you know, everything going on and stuff. And I was back in college, so I didn't really have to worry about sneaking people in the crib like that. Right. I was back at my mama's house, you know what I'm saying? I, I had to get her in here. 
I almost blew it. I almost, you know what I'm saying? I almost went left. I almost went left real fast. Wow. All right. Well, one more, one more. Would you rather lose all your teeth or mm. lose a day in your life every time you kiss somebody? Mm. Uh, <laughs> you know, I might have to lose a day because I might just have to cut that out of kissing. You know what I'm saying? I might have to cut that out. We can do everything else, but. I can't lose my life now, man. So you gotta, you know what I'm saying? We gotta do something else. So, so you rather lose your teeth or your life? Which one do you say? I mean, you lose all your teeth or lose a day of your life every time you kiss somebody. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I might, I, I'm gonna have to take the life. I need the, I need the teeth. I need them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't them. think I would kiss anybody, bro. I don't think I, I don't want to lose my teeth or no partials of my life. So I just be like, listen. If anything else, we just can't kiss. But if it's a girl that's just really worth it, you know what I'm saying? I might just have to die like a day a day early, you know what I'm saying? I might just have to take one for the, you know what I'm saying? I might just have to do it. Yeah, but she like kissing on you a lot, bro. Then you like, you got like a gang of days that you be dead, bro. Like, that's Like, she kissed you like 20 times in one day. She won't see you for the next month, bro, because you dead. Yeah, she'll mess right to kill me just like this. Yeah, she got to she like she like ah, I don't know I just kissed Brandon twenty times and now he's no longer with us. Oh, yeah, you did that. Like, that was on you. You. <laughs> I did that. She'd be like, I did that. <laughs> I feel that brother. He gone. <laughs> he ain't coming back. All right, bro. That's good. That's good stuff. That's really good stuff. Listen, this has been exciting, man. I want to thank you guys. For uh, for checking us out and for watching us today, Brandon, man, thank you so much for coming on and for deciding to do this with us, bro. Really appreciate that. And uh, you guys, listen, thank you for watching Meet the Game. I know you could have watched a hundred of the programs, but you chose to hang out with that. We appreciate you. For more information on today's topic, check out my website at www.educatedgamer.com for links to resources, upcoming events, and to show your support. We have more to share in the coming weeks. We're posting an episode every Saturday. Share our show, subscribe, follow, or just simply stalk us. Now, if you go simply stalk Brandon, like Brandon to Flashy, go stalk the dude, right? Wait outside his house, be outside of his school, follow him to school. You know what I'm saying? Until next time, this is Kai, better known as Educated Gamer. See ya!